Welcome to Discovery Garden Pattaya. We will make some smoked bacon today and here is the result. All we need to make bacon is uh, the coarse sea salt, of course, and uh, you can get it anywhere, it's very cheap. Uh, then you need the garlic powder and the, <coughs> the bay leaves that we have uh, chopped. And then we just mix that all together. We have sliced the, the bacon into nice pieces and just have mixed all this together and then when this is ready we are going to vacuum this for at least 24 hours better 48 hours and you will see what happens we are packing the sliced and salted pieces of ham Put them into these bags for vacuuming and put some salt inside. Easy. It's really simple. Now we put them into a vacuum. If you don't have such a machine, you just can use a, a normal food bag and just... simple as this if you don't have a vacuum machine just use the normal food bags and press out as much air as you can looks like that too Everything is vacuumed already and ready to go into the fridge. Well, the, the meat has now been in the fridge for uh, 24 hours. And if you come close, you can see there is some liquid out here. And we are going to uh, take it out. Open up, destroy the vacuum, let the air in, and take the meat out. You see, mm, it's a wonderful taste. It has uh, drawn some liquid, and now we wash it carefully and put it over here. One more. Carefully washing, taking out the stuff, and then we have to dry it. And it's now still cool. We will uh, keep it outside the fridge for uh, a few hours, maybe two hours till it has reached room temperature. And you see, mm, it's a wonderful, you can smell the garlic already. There is plenty more to, to clean here. You see, we are really doing a lot 
because it's so easy, you can freeze it afterwards. It's very good uh, with sauerkraut or with green beans or if you need some little uh, pieces of bacon. Here we go. All is now washed and ready to warm up, up to room temperature and then we can start the smoking process in our smoking oven. For smoking meats we need wood and you can take practically every fruiting tree but often you know the wood tastes like the product that you cherish a tree for. This for instance is nutmeg, nutmeg. And we are going to take some of this nutmeg wood, for our smoking of this uh, bacon. It will taste a bit like nutmeg. And we can also even use some leaves because the leaves often taste like the product they produce. We also cultivate cinnamon trees in our Discovery Garden Papaya, also in Nankai by the way. And of course cinnamon is always good for smoking. You know, we are very fortunate that we can just go to our garden and collect the stuff freshly. It's flowering at the moment. Uh, it can be grown by seeds or by cuttings or by marcotting. We are mainly interested now in some nice cinnamon wood. And if you look at this, even the leaves, they, when they are cracked, they taste like cinnamon. And this will add a wonderful flavor to our smoked bacon. This is now a mango tree. We never tried it, but it should work as well. I mean, any any fruit tree, as I told you, will, will work. And mango is something very delicious and very Southeast Asian. And we have a lot of them in the garden. And we are going to use the mango wood as well for our smoked bacon. Mm, where is the pork? Where is the meat? Here. This is a strawberry guave. It makes Guave, only that size and very, very good ones. And the liberty of having uh, such a nice garden, we can use all kinds of things. We experiment. If uh, we don't like one of the tastes, we later when tasting, we can identify. So next time we will renounce at using them again. This is bay leaf uh, we imported from uh, Europe and it's very hard to find in Thailand. We have some few plants left and also we can of course use a little bit of bay leaf for our smoking purposes. It's always good. We 
We remember we used it when we cured the bacon overnight uh, and uh, it's just wonderful, wonderful. If you have some uh, here, this one seems to be uh, over the hill already, but for smoking, we still can use it. Bay leaf, discovery garden, pataya, and nonkai available. Uh, oh, but only a little bit left, huh? and it's, it's expensive. <laughs> okay, this is another one. This is a cashew nut tree, and uh, it's also worth a trial. Just Cut it, let it cut. Easy and very healthy. We don't spray any chemicals in this garden, so you can be sure this is not a problem. I mean, the wood has to be, uh, it may not be cured with any pesticides or, uh, or whatever poisons that people use so if we pick it up from here then we are sure oh, this is a small coffee coffee tree why not give it a try have some coffee as well added to our smoking wood Okay, there is more coffee here. As you can see, it's now starting to flower. Uh, these uh, flowers will be white and very pretty. And underneath here, you still can see some coffee fruits from last harvest. We, why don't we add some of those too? You can also use fruits for smoking so this will add hopefully a little touch to our smoked bacon <sighs> this is uh, cocoa you can see here it is making some flowers they come directly from the stem and we can opt to get some cocoa wood as well for our smoking of the bacon. No, this is a bit over the hill. No, 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 no. Okay, cocoa. Here I found a nice cocoa branch fresh and this should add additional flavor to our smoked bacon. This is called Brazilian pepper. It makes these uh, uh, red seeds that are like uh, a pepper. Mm -hmm. replacement it's not really a pepper plant but it's called Brazilian pepper and it can be used as a, a pepper replacement let's take some of this as well and of course the seeds we burn as well this together with our mixed tropical wood all in pursuit of the perfect bacon smoked bacon we have now the most important uh, things here the smoke oven we build it ourselves and the material we just collected from the garden consists of a source of heat and then uh, the, the smoking material is added it will go up 
all the way here where we will place our bacon and go outside and the rest you will see soon. Smoke oven. The meat has cooled down to uh, room temperature and is ready. Let's see what our fire is doing. Uh -huh. Coming along nicely. Another five minutes maybe. And we can start the process of smoking bacon from tropical wood. fire is now strong and steady and we may proceed from here. All the bacon is now in the oven and there is some natural smoke from the fire down there and now we are going to add some of the wood that we selected from our gardens to produce the right kind of smoke that purifies the meat and also gives it a nice taste. As you can see, there's a lot of smoke coming out now. It will ease over time and uh, we leave the bacon in there. Uh, it's simmered by the smoke and uh, it smoked at the same time, let's say for at least an hour. We'll come back and check in a while if the smoke is still coming out. Okay, the things have been in about uh, 20 minutes, they take uh, some color already. Okay, coming well. Smoking like hell, wow! Okay, the whole stuff has been about one hour in the oven, taking color, but I think we need more 
and uh, we put some more smoking material. That looks nice, yes. Yes, getting, getting there, huh? looks quite good. Yeah, okay. Started. Okay, let's have a look what happened to our bacon. And wow, it looks absolutely fantastic. This is ready to eat. I guess we take it out now. Huh? Is it very hot? Uh huh. Not talking again. <laughs> that looks fabulous. Very hot. Hot, 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 It was in the oven for about two and a half hours. That is the result of our endeavors today. It's bacon that can be eaten right away now it's not only smoked it's also uh, fully baked in the oven in the hot smoke from our tropical trees and i have the pleasure of trying it Mmm, so good! Finger licking good. Mmm, you have seen, it's quite easy and you have a good result. So, if you like what you saw today, please join the Hans Fritschi channel of YouTube or Hans Fritschi friends on Facebook and see you again very, very soon.